Columbia River and its tributaries are one of the premier smallmouth bass fishing venues in the United States. The rocky shoreline, structure-laden bottom, and constantly changing water levels, currents, and temperature provide an ideal environment for smallmouth bass. You can fish for smallmouth all year round with April through October being the best months for quality fishing. Fishing for springtime smallmouth bass, we like to use crankbaits like the Rapella x rap casting right up against the rocks and slowly reeling back out in the deeper water, giving the lure a few jerks here and there, changing the retrieve speed and sometimes letting the lure sit for a few seconds, then start reeling again. The crankbaits that resemble small fish work great on the bigger springtime bass before they switch over to their summer diet of crayfish and head for deeper water. The big one. That is a big one, folks. Here we go. Second cast with the fresh grub. Confidence is high. Okay, I've kind of let it sink to the bottom. And the thing is, these smallmouth bass, look at that. Oh, unbelievable. Two casts, two hits. That's unreal. <laughs> Probably the same fish. Really hungry. No. Okay, that's two fish and two casts, and I swear that does not happen every day. But I'm hoping for three for three right now. Pretty much in the same spot we were before. Like, what you want to do is like try to throw the lure right up against the rocks as close as possible, and just kind of like bounce it off the rocks. If the thing gets stuck, you got to paddle in there and get it, that's all. 
Here we go. Three for three, baby. Okay, six feet of water. Yeah, 61 degrees. Usually, my personal opinion is the bass in the ocean or in freshwater don't really start moving until 55. Like maybe a few big ones will move earlier, but... And they move really slow. Like these guys are starting to hit right away. So... And the poor little grub's getting chewed. Hang on a second here. Alright, here we go. Yeah, see, ideally you want to be right up against the rocks, but that's, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, see, them? like right off the rocks, it's probably, there's not much down there, so you might as well go down to the bottom. Like I said, the bass really hit, like when you slow a lure down, like a crankbait, or like these swim baits or grubs or whatever you want to call them. You kind of want to like bounce those along the bottom. Nah, we're too far out. I'm gonna paddle in a little bit. We want to get a little closer to those rocks. Perfect. I mean, the kayak is a perfect vehicle for doing this. I mean, if the fish aren't deaf from the freeway, then I don't know. Alright, here we go. Now while we're fooling around, Gives the fish enough time to decide who's gonna jump on the hook next. All right, baby, here we go. Three for three. Uh, I guess it's three for four now. Let's see, you know, bounce that baby on, and you know, sometimes you get snagged. Uh, like it's not a kayak, you can just basically just swim in there and get it. Okay, yeah, that one's already bounced off the rocks a little bit. Yeah, the thing about the Columbia is the current could be going one way, the wind could be going the other way. Looks like the party's over. Back to work. Let the thing sit for a few seconds right after you cast, too. That's usually a pretty good idea. Let the old bass come check it out. Like you can, with these lead hat things, sometimes you can feel them like bouncing along the bottom, that's fine. Just let it sit for a little bit. Like a lot of times if you let it hit the bottom, when you pick it back up, that's when the bass will bite it. Alright, we're, must, must have used up most of our luck. Okay, this is the, I switched over to the trusty swim bait. Wasn't getting any hits on the spinner or anything, so this swim bait's always done good for me here. And works today too. That's the thing when if one lure doesn't work, try another one. I mean, hey. Eh? You never know what the heck they're gonna get hit.
Okay, this feels like a pretty good one. Doesn't look like a bass, does it? It's a big one. Okay, I'm gonna wanna tire this guy out. That makes a day worthwhile. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Big boy. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. That could be the biggest one of all time. As spring changes into summer, the water temperature rises and the Columbia River water level drops. Changing water levels, especially big changes, cause a smallmouth bass to move away from the rocky shoreline out into deeper water and into the cover of shoreline structure, like downed trees and logs.
bass are still there, they are just a little harder to find. Uh, looks like a bass. Pretty good one. This time of year we usually use lead head grubs. Red and brown colors seem to work best, probably because they resemble crayfish, the favorite summer food of the smallmouth bass. Oh yeah. Summer is a great time for kayak fishing on the Columbia. The days are long and usually it's sunny and warm. The only thing that can keep you off the water is the wind. Oh yeah, Mr. Smallmouth. It's a big one. Smallmouth bass can be found in every section of the Columbia River. The ideal spot would be 3 to 15 feet deep with a rocky bottom and available structure. Fishing along underwater drop-offs is also productive.
the midsummer heat and low river water levels, the bass head for deeper water. This is the hardest time of the season to find where the bass are hiding. This time of year we use leadhead grubs and plastic worms or senkos, bouncing them off the bottom with a slow retrieve. Brown, red, and dark green plastics seem to work best. Don't catch every fish you hook, but we release them anyway. The smallmouth bass record for Oregon is just over 8 pounds, and the record for Washington is 8 and 3 quarter pounds, which was caught on the Columbia River. So anytime you go out smallmouth bass fishing on the Columbia, you have a legitimate chance to put yourself in the record books. On a good day, in the right spot, you can easily catch 20 fish or more. fish on but he swam me into the there it is swam me into the weeds It's a big one, real big one. I'm trying to clear these weeds. Get out in the open, get some fighting room. Good one. Watermanatwork.com.